In today's video, I'm going to be going over the best game passes to buy inside of Pet Simulator 99. Now, I have all of the game passes in the game, as well as over 2,000 hours worth of testing in this game, or just playing the game in general. So, and there's been a ton of new game passes that have been added since I lasted this video a couple months ago. So, that's why I'm recreating this. So, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you guys do enjoy. I'll be using a tier list to rank all of these game passes, along with giving my opinions on all of them and which ones I think are the best to buy for whatever level you're at in the game. So, right here is my tier list. And as you can see, I have all of the game passes in the game right here. And I'm going to be ranking from the best to good to meh to bad. So here we go. First game pass on the list, which is auto farm. Now I'm going to go ahead and straight away just put this in S. So auto farm costs 175 Robux. And basically it makes your pets stay in whichever zone they were in last, which is insanely good. Because as you can see right now, I am not in the void world. I mean, I'm not at the hacker world right now. I'm in the void world and I can just, you know, do this super computer do whatever i want inside of void world and my pets will stay in the final zone over there farming just because i have auto farm and auto farm is also one of the cheapest it is the cheapest game pass in the game so it is just really really worth it to buy because honestly yeah, i don't know any other game passes that are that good for that cheap it is definitely by far one of the best game passes and yeah you can do so much other things while your pets are there and it can also be a little less laggy if you have the super magnet anyways though it's definitely worth it and now on to the next game pass so the next game pass i'll be ranking is vip now personally i do not think vip is very good anymore vip used to be one of the best game passes in the game when the game first came out it was by far the best game pass but now honestly it's just not really that good so it with the it includes the vip mine the exclusive axolotl hoverboard the vip booth gifts every six hours a chat name tag and 10k diamonds now personally the vip mine does not drop really any diamonds you get more from just being in the final zone the exclusive axolotl hoverboard does not look that good the booth looks it actually looks pretty good however neither of these are tradable so you cannot trade either of these right here so it's kind of just gonna stay in your inventory forever you do get gifts every six hours but it's like a tier four potion honestly i think they should increase the gifts or wait no no it's like 10 i think it's like 5k gems or something but yeah honestly i think they should increase it a bit because it's just really not that worth it to be a vip right now you also get a chat name tag which is pretty cool and 10k diamonds this 10k diamonds 100 needs to be changed because 10k diamonds just kind of useless now when the game first came out 10k diamonds was good but now i mean i could get 10k diamonds like two minutes of just sitting here so because of that i am still going to rank it in around b tier maybe and eh, b to c tier the reason for this i'll put in c tier is because if you're doing rank quests then vip is good because of the vip mine it allows you to do the diamond quest really easily because you can just sit there for a couple minutes and get them all so that's really the only good part about it besides like maybe the vip booth and the name tag but the other stuff is just kind of useless up next we have magic eggs now magic eggs is actually kind of expensive it's a thousand two hundred robux so with this you can hash golden and rainbow eggs or rainbow pets from eggs and now you can do this with multiple different things in a game for example um you can use the auto hatch feature with the golden eggs which allows you to only hatch golden pets and then some rainbows if you have the pass and then you also have the mastery where you can get plus three percent chance of golden pets and a plus one chance for rainbow pets so there is ways to do without the game pass however the game pass does really really help i remember when i first joined the game and opened some eggs all of my like half of my pets were golden rainbow and if i go ahead and check it out right now it makes most of it's actually really really good it makes a lot of your pets golden rainbow let me go ahead and open up this egg now yes i do have the other boost too i'm not using the auto hatch one but as you can see i got a shiny rainbow 13 rainbow 14 gold and then however many of the normal i didn't see that part but it is really really good so i definitely recommend that you try that one only if you have the robux to afford it obviously which is why i'm probably gonna put it in b tier maybe a tier the thing is it's really really good but only if you hatch eggs a lot besides that i mean actually i'll put an a tier just because it saves you from having to get like a billion of the same pet to craft a rainbow you could just hatch a rainbow so it is pretty good i'm not gonna lie up next i have plus 15 pet equip now plus 15 pet equip is only 375 robux and i'm actually putting in a tier the reason for this is because i think this is one of the better in better games game passes and it's also insanely cheap too because it allows you to equip plus 15 more pets which allows you to get more diamonds more coins more loot break stuff faster because you have more pets equipped that is breaking the breakables getting you more stuff so honestly i think it's really really good and you get the plus 15 for free it's not like you have to buy them for gems or anything and it adds on to the other ones so i do think it is pretty good and i would probably recommend buying it next up we have the set most expensive game pass in the game huge hunter now huge hunter is three thousand two hundred 
150 robux and honestly i'm just gonna put it right here for now b tier now here's the reason why the before i would have put this in c tier and maybe d tier but something they did around a month or two ago was they made the huge hunter game pass a lot better they made it almost double as good if you look down here now my active huge chip pet chance is 6250 percent i went from hatching like maybe one huge a week of afk every night to like a huge every single night of afk now i'm open in a long time but my point is the eggs world i got a lot more huges after they increased this buff like an insane amount of more huges and i know other people did too the reason i'm not putting this any higher is one because of how expensive it is and two this is only really good if you open eggs a lot if you don't open eggs for more than five hours a day then there's really no point because it's not like you're gonna sit there for an hour and get a huge you could but it's really low it's gonna take you like still like eight hours for a slim chance to get one it's not like you're guaranteed a huge every three hours or something like that and like i said it's also the most expensive which does bring it down too but i'll still put it in b tier for now up next we have the stars game pass now the stars game pass is tied for the second most expensive game pass in the game and i'm gonna go ahead and put this in c tier the reason i'm putting in c tier is because honestly i might even put it in d tier the reason is because it is not only the most tied for the most expensive with 2400 robux which is 30 dollars but also because it doesn't really help you be too much better at the game basically it makes it so that your rank goes up faster now yes it does help out a lot i got from rank 29 to rank 30 in around two to four hours after the update but i mean it's just like it doesn't really help you with getting more drops or anything like that now yes the rank from like ranked zero to 20 ranks zero to 25 it's really good because you unlock pet slots and all that kind of stuff but after rank 25 i'm not even i unlocked no new like egg slots or pet slots from rank 30 or 29 because i don't know they're just they're I already reached the max amount of pet equips and there's like one more that they're kind of just hoarding off so honestly i just don't really think that like it's too good because i mean it's good but i don't think it's it should be worth 2400 robux type of good so yeah i'm putting that in c tier might even go down to d tier in the future we'll have to see but up next is the other game pass that is tied for second 2400 robux super drops super drops i'm gonna go ahead and put an a tier now hear me out on this one super drops is probably one of is probably the best game pass in the game however yes it is the most it is one of the most expensive but unlike the other one unlike super drops this one is actually worth it to be expensive now i don't know if 2400 robux is expensive but all i'm saying is like the stars one should nowhere be 2400 this one's a little more reasonable because you get better drops you can see right here you get better random item drops so instead of getting like tier ones i'm getting like tiers tier fours and all that and honestly i went from making a ton more diamonds every single night which is really really good and it does help out a lot especially if you're trying to get i think it does actually help out with hacker keys and stuff like that too since it's legendary items which does it which it in, does increase the legendary items so honestly i do think that that game pass is pretty good and that is why i'm putting in a tier these are by far the four ones that i would say so far but we still have five left so let's go ahead and keep on going with up next we have the plus five fifteen sorry eggs so this game pass is worth 625 robux and honestly i do not think it's that good because not only is it almost double the plus 15 pets it is worse than the 15 pets in my opinion this is going in b tier now the reason for this is same thing as a huge hunter this is only worth it if you open eggs a lot if you don't not really that worth it because you don't really need to be opening too much a it all it does is just makes it goes faster it's not like you you still have to be able to afford those extra 15 eggs so it's only if you're trying to save time and all that and i mean it's okay but i do not i still think the plus 15 is better because plus 15 you get more drops more blue more coins all of that or more diamonds all of that stuff so yeah honestly i just think that the pets one is so much better than the eggs but eggs one is still good if you're opening eggs for multiple hours so i guess we'll have to see about that it's also not too expensive which is another reason i'm not putting in c tier and by the way if you want to do this tier list for yourself i'll have a link to it in the description but up next we have the daycare slots now daycare slots cost 625 robux I'm putting this in D tier right now, right away. Not only is this game pass like a little bit more on the expensive side, but it's really just not useful. You can have up to, without daycare game pass, you can have up to 40 
um daycare slots and the daycare vouchers are not expensive at all they're only three thousand each which are not expensive i definitely recommend you get those daycare slots but it's just like i i mean i rarely use my daycare and even if you do having that plus 15 it's not worth 625 robux now if it was like 300 robux then i would probably say it's a good deal because people that do use a lot you do get like around 100 to 200 000 gems every single time you claim it if you have the best pets but i mean i'm just saying like it's just not six there's so much better stuff you can buy with 625 robux and i'm ranking these off of the best ones to buy and the daycare i would definitely buy last up next we have the lucky enchant so the lucky not enchant sorry lucky game pass the lucky game pass costs 275 robux i'm gonna go ahead and put this in a tier now the reason for this this is similar to the huge hunter and eggs one this is only really good if you open for multiple hours however it is really cheap i'm pretty sure it is the second yeah it's the second cheapest game pass in the game and it does help to get the better stat pets faster if you're trying to get those. So that one's definitely going in A tier. Not much more to say about that one. Up next, we have the Auto Tap. Now, Auto Tap is 350 Robux, so it is also pretty cheap. However, I'm going to put this in C tier. We got the same backgrounds all in the same one. The reason I'm putting this one in C tier is because it's just... I mean, 300, it's it's good price for Robux. However, you can just use an auto clicker. Just use an auto clicker. Now, yes, it can be good for certain occasions. If you don't like want to use an auto clicker, you can just like, you can kind of just go like this and it does auto tap for you. But besides that, I mean, it's not really that good. I'm pretty sure it does like tap the pets or it does break the stuff around you even if you're not using an auto clicker, if you're just in the zone. So it's not bad. It just, it could be a lot better. Or like I don't even know. It couldn't be better. It's just it's just not that good. But it's 350 Robux, so it's still decent, which is why I'm putting in C tier. I'd rather you buy that than daycare slot vouchers. And last but not least, we have the Ultra Lucky. Ultra Lucky is 800 Robux, so it's a little expensive. I'm gonna put this in B tier at top of it. The reason for this, this is just the same as Lucky. Um, or I mean like the same reasons. It is really it's better than Lucky, obviously, with stat pets. You do get way better stat pets it is really really good if an update first comes out and you want to get those stat pets fast and sell them insanely good for that but i would not recommend buying it if you don't open for multiple hours because at some point it just does get a little bit use i mean it's good but like only good if you tend to actually use it a lot anyways though that's my tier list down right there if you think you want to change anything let me know in the comment section down below and like i said a link to it will be in the description if you want to fill it out for yourself but link to my roblox and discord server is in the description hopefully you guys did enjoy this video uh, tell me in the comment section your favorite game pass and i'll see you guys in the next one have an amazing rest of your day everybody goodbye